It was high voltage football as the Melbourne Knights went under lights at Summer Street. The biggest crowd of the round came to witness history as the switch was thrown on the new $200,000 floodlights. While megawatts kept the lights burning brightly, the Knights had a portable power supply on the park, as Kyle Patterson reports. I wish to welcome the right honourable Mr Kennedy. Ten years after buying an old drive-in site, the Melbourne Knights could proudly show off a modern soccer stadium. The floodlight towers stand as a monument to years of hard work and to optimism for future prosperity. And I hope with this club and the other Melbourne clubs, we can continue to build soccer into the biggest game in Australia. By choosing to build on private land, the Melbourne Knights had to find the money from their own pockets. That made for hard times, but now the kingdom is truly their own. Well, I feel tremendous, excited, you know, so it's, uh, you could say, a history of the club. When you look at it about uh, ten years ago, this was a drive-in, and what Croatian community and Croatian supporters done, if you look at it, all you have to do, look at the grandstand, you know, look at it down here, plus the lights, naturally, which is big plus. I think it's a big step in the last few years, in the last ten years. The floodlights were officially turned on at half-time, but by then the Melbourne Knights had already dazzled the boys in black from Sydney United. The powerhouse strike force of Mark Baduka and Joe Spateri was electrifying. Their combination for the second of three first-half goals was world-class. It was a humbling experience for Branko Cellina, the coach of Sydney United, who was returning to his home of many years. His new team had not conceded a goal in three previous outings before this ill-fated venture south. The damage would have been far worse, but for some heroics by goalkeeper Joko Kalats. The wily Mirko Bazic has his team playing championship football, even without the likes of Adrian Savinsky, Diamichis and Ponduyev. He was content with the impressive 4-1 win. Kalas, excellent goalkeeper, same 3-4, maybe sure goal, but result 4-1, it is enough. <laughs> in this moment, we are the best team in Australia, sure, but we will see after. The after, of course, is the playoffs, where the Knights have suffered the trauma of losing grand finals three times. Maybe this time they'll find a pot of gold.